And welcome back. We're on to the third locust point of the night. We're really, we're, I know, you having fun? Yeah, she's having fun. I know, dig it up. I know, having fun. I know it's all yours. Today, again, as in our previous video, we're talking about Genetics 101 and colors in rabbits. And this locust point is labeled P. And the reason it's labeled P is because it creates what we call pink colored eyes. Um, pink colored eyes are a result of what we call lutino. And lutino uh, is very breed specific. We see it in uh, Netherland dwarfs. Uh, if you're living in Europe, lutino is going to be probably fairly common. It is recognized color in Europe. It is, however, not recognized in the United States as of right now. Uh, there's a couple people that we've, we've certainly worked with uh, that are working in Lutino. Uh, we've uh, certainly been working on trying to get Lutino into the, the Netherlands herd since we are big on Netherlands here. Um, and hopefully by 2020 or 2021 uh, is our goal is to have Lutino. Uh, but it's still going to be uh, one of those colors you don't come across very often in the United States. Um, but, and, and I really, honestly, um, we don't, since we've never worked in it and we, we haven't really been able to find them here in the United States, obviously uh, our, the amount of information available to us is not as great. But I'm just going to talk about generally briefly what the, what the alleles are here and what it, what it does. Um, capital P is the dominant allele here. When it is present in either locus, uh, at the locus point in either position, because again, two copies have to be present at each locus point, uh, two, two alleles have to be present. It can be either one of these or it could be a pair of, of one of them. But P, whenever it's present in either place of the uh, either allele, if this capital P is there, you're not going to get a, a Lutino rabbit. Um, you would have to have, to get Lutino to present, again, you're going to need the recessive, uh, the lowercase p, uh, and you're going to need two copies of that for that Lutino to, to be presented. Again, not something you're going to see much in the United States. Now, if you're watching from Europe, you're going to say, oh, yeah, we have them all the time. Um it's going to be much more common where we just, just we don't have the numbers here in the United States yet. Um, hopefully in a few years it'll take on some, it is a very unique, very special color. Uh, but it's going to give the rabbit a pink eyes. Uh, the eyes will appear pink. They're not going to be red, but they'll be actually a pink color. And you can look up some pictures of those online as well. Just search, you know, Lutino, Netherland Dwarf, and you'll start to see um, uh, that in, in Netherland. I'm only familiar with Netherland as far as is where it's being used. Uh, I'm sure there's other breeds. Again, in Europe, there's a ton more breeds uh, that are recognized than in the United States. And so there's, may, there's probably other breeds as well that, that have some Latino effects. But uh, Netherland Dwarf is the main one, and it's going to really kind of lighten the, the brown pigment in the rabbit. So, and a lot of times it'll end up almost looking kind of a whitish uh, cream color. Uh, almost Not pure white necessarily, but but they, they are kind of a creamy color uh, with the pink eyes. So it's kind of a unique color, and, and I like I say, I've seen a few pictures of them, uh, and they almost look white to me, but... Um, we're going to be doing some more research on these guys, on this particular, uh, how this, the Lutino works. As far as the genetics of it, we understand how it works, but as far as actually having hands-on work in that particular color, um, we're really hoping to get some opportunities here in the next couple of years to, to track a couple of those down. But that's the pretty much the gist of, of this locust point. There's only only two alleles, just like in our previous things. And the thing to just remember is, is that you would have to have two copies 
of the recessive allele to get your lutino to re to present in your rabbit um, for it to actually be visible. Uh, if only one of those recessives is present, it's not going to show up in the color of the rabbit. It's just going to kind of ride along uh, and just kind of hang out there in the background uh, until you were to pair that particular rabbit up with another rabbit that happens to carry it uh, recessively and then you you have a shot at creating a lutino so if you happen to create one at least you'll have an idea you're like i don't understand why it has pink eyes it doesn't make any sense uh it's probably because it may have been imported from overseas and it's been transmitted down some lines and you have a rabbit and you've bred it to another rabbit that may have came from outside the country because they, there are imports from from uh, europe into the united states fairly often and so uh, we may start to see more of this probably in the next 10 or 15 years. Uh, and so this will be something to be watching as we get, get further down uh, through time as, as more of these rabbits are created and, and hopefully becomes recognized by the ARBA.